हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन इन द गेट पेपर येस यू कैन बी अप्लाइंग फॉर एनी सब्जेक्ट बट दिस जनरल एप्टीट्यूड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एवरीथिंग विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट वाई जी ए इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज नंबर वन पॉइंट इज दिस जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन has the questions that are comparatively easy to solve as compared to the subject paper yes the subject syllabus is very vast and like net paper ugc net or csr net this part that is general aptitude is easy to solve as compared to the core paper that is syllabus next point that is why it is important is there is no different section in case of gate yes if you are getting good marks in this general aptitude section then it will compensate the lacuna or anything if you are not doing in the main paper if it is going wrong then it will compensate that as it is doing in the net paper one so because there is no such cut off that it should be having the general aptitude this much cut off should be there and your core paper will be having this much cut off so this makes this ga part very very important third point is each section and each question is important but this section that is general aptitude section will take comparatively very very less time with the core paper yes the core question might take up a little longer time because you have to analyze them you have to find them but this question this part that is general aptitude will take less time and it is that's why very important next and very important part is the less cut off in gate yes in gate you would have seen the previous years cut off in every subject more or less the average cut off for general category is going around 40 to 45 so there is no higher cut off as it is seen in the case of ugc or csr paper so what happens is the less cut off in gate provides an edge for the general aptitude why because in general aptitude mostly it will consist of 10 question yes 10 question will be coming in this section in which five will be having one mark each so 10 mark there and five will be having two mark each so 10 marks there so total will be 15 marks here in this section that is general aptitude and if you are getting around 12 to 14 marks here then i am damn sure it will be very very close to qualify this gate exam so these are easy they are less time consuming and they are having 15 marks and this gate is having lower cut off range so if you are doing good in this section then definitely it will give an edge for cracking this exam now we will discuss some of the smartly preparation technique so this is the syllabus and total four parts are there in this general aptitude section the first part is verbal aptitude so verbal aptitude according to the syllabus of gate will include basic english grammar tenses articles adjective prepositions conjunction verb noun agreement and other parts of speech also basic vocabulary will include words you have to find the wrong words or synonyms and all reading and comprehension section that is also very mark fetching or narrative sequencing but here i will tell you some of the important parts taking from the verbal aptitude section for example sentence correction question is one of the frequently asked question from this part that is some question will be given and you have to correct the grammar error correction or any sentence it is not having the proper adjective or noun that you should check so it is very simple no need to worry about that next question can be coming from sentence completion yes example i have kept it here that the 9th and 10th of this month are monday and tuesday what and in options it will be figuratively retrospectively respectively or rightfully so everyone is i think will be able to answer this it will be option c respectively so it is very simple so sentence completion sentence correction is the simplest one among this verbal aptitude then the questions from the verb analogies it will be coming so we should identify the relationship between the given words and you should find in the group that means any passage will be given or any sentence will be given and you have to identify which is the relationship between the given words so what relationship is having in that sentence or that paragraph you have to find out and select the option similarly synonyms and antonyms will be given so similar meaning or opposite meaning word you have to find from the options given or from the passage given in the verbal aptitude section in the general aptitude part next let's go to the second part that is the second part coming under the general aptitude second section is quantitative aptitude 
so this section is very very interesting and easy but most of you will be having a fear that is maths but believe me i will tell you some of the important thing which you can prepare in less time to score more marks so this syllabus consists of data interpretation so the data will be given in the form of graphs that can be bar graphs pie charts or other graphical representing data and from there there will be questions so it will be very easy and next is two and three dimensional plots or two and three dimensional figures will be given you have to find the answer according to the question then maps will be given or tables will be given in the data interpretation next coming to the numerical computation and estimation which includes ratios calculation of percentage powers exponents and logarithms permutation and combination also is one of the part along with the number series or alphanumeric series next coming to the mensuration and geometry so it is very important and it is also easy mensuration means you should know all the volumes of the sphere of the cylinder of the cube these things are school level maths next is elementary statistics will be given and probability but here most frequently asked questions are from simple interest compound interest profit loss squares and cubes squares root cube root std that is speed time and distance based on that concept hcf lcm time and work question which is important and one of the frequent class time and work question nsw that is north south west is that is direction question it will be asked that someone is standing at a point it moves 20 km north 30 km south just i am giving the example so find out what position it is standing finally similarly square of opposition questions are also asked so if you don't know i will take you to the next slide so this is the question which is coming in the form of square of opposition so this is as you can see here the questions will be asked based on this square of opposition if you don't know you can search in the youtube there are many videos which are very easy to understand and the questions will be asked that for example it is taken from the sample paper some students were involved in a strike and we have to identify that which is logically necessary or logically correct so based on this criteria or this concept we will be able to answer these things and it is also having the questions like which are contraries which are contradictories subalterns so this kind of question are asked from the square of opposition next coming to the another two part that is the final parts which are in the general aptitude section the third one is analytical aptitude which will include logical thing that is deduction induction analogy numerical relation and reasoning and here most important are i have already given in the caps lock that is venn diagram questions they will be asked arithmetic progression geometric progression boat and stream problem that is the boat is moving at the speed of certain speed stream is in the speed of certain thing and you have to calculate the speed of the boat or something like that from the boat and stream question i know i hope you have done some question like this next questions from the clock and calendar question also they are asked special aptitude is the new addition to the gate paper and this will include transformation of shapes translation rotation scaling mirroring and assembling other things like paper folding these are very easy i guess because those who have given banking exam or have seen the question paper according to the banking so these are very important and very easy so first we will discuss some of the examples of analytical aptitude so here they will test your analytical skill for example the question will be given on the assumption inference strengthen or weaken the argument you have to identify so this question is taken from the sample paper and it is showing the analytical aptitude the question is telling there are given the figure will be given and contour lines these are the contour lines and here you have to identify which of the following is the steepest path leaving from p so p p is the point which is having the steepest path and these things contour lines are having the height from a mean sea level so you have to analyze them and you have to find the correct answer so, so this kind of question will be asked in the critical reasoning now coming to the special aptitude which is included recently so this question is taken from the sample question of the gate itself and the question can be asked that a rectangular sheet of length 6 cm and breadth 4 cm is coiled to form a cylinder and you have to identify and you have to find the question and similarly you have to state which statement is false so you have to identify the surface area you, have, you should know the volume and all so these all are coming in the numerical aptitude part that is mensuration part so if you know all this mensuration part that is the surface area of all the sphere cylinder volume height everything then you will be able to crack this exam in the special aptitude part also very easily so this is the special aptitude is actually application of the numerical aptitude part let's take an example of one more example of special aptitude what kind of question will be asked so this is very simple 
so this is one more question taken from the sample paper where they have given for the spatial aptitude oh. section so spatial aptitude means i would like to say the space that means x y z that are the coordinates and you have to find these things and based on this here it is question is given which one of the following closely resembles the mirror image of the above figure so if this image is placed in front of the mirror what kind of image will be seen so from these four you have to analyze which is the correct thing which will be seen in the mirror and then only you will be able to know that option c will be correct because if you flip this then all these things will be flipped and it will be seen like this so these are all analytical thing and very easy to crack so next thing at last i would like to say how to prepare for these things for english you have to improve your reading habit read all the novels or any papers which is having the good english and you have to improve your vocabulary as well as grammar next thing coming to the maths if you want to do maths in this quantitative aptitude section then don't forget that school level maths book is the best thing that is from the 8 9 10 syllabus only class you will be having the questions so they are very easy and now now i will tell you that even if you are not having all these things then the best thing is to prepare from the previous year's paper yes for paper one as you know that there are more than 26 around 27 subjects in the gate and if you're downloading all the previous year's paper for the gate then you will be having the general aptitude section in each of the paper so from there you can practice those questions in the general aptitude section because answer key is also given with that so all the subjects if you're doing at least 10 to 20 paper then your general aptitude will be very strong and you will be much confident so now i would like to say that some of the video playlist i've already made for the gate ecology and evolution as well as gate environmental science and engineering you can check the playlist in the description below and i will upload some of the pdf related to the quantitative aptitude related to normal maths which will be helpful for the examination so i hope this video will be very helpful for you see you guys in our next video do subscribe the channel to get further updates